What's up guys, it's your boy May Boom, and I am back for another video, and now that we're at the end of 2023 with the WWE, I want to talk about Roman Reigns, man, this is, get me mad, it is, it's getting me mad, I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm kind of a little bit mad about it, Roman Reigns is never there, he's never there, and like, we pay for these pay-per-views, we watch these shows, it's like, okay, Roman Reigns might be there, or SmackDown, we watch SmackDown, it's like, okay, Roman Reigns might be there, but he's never there. I'm happy he gets breaks because these wrestlers work way too hard, but, like, dang, he's never there. If it wasn't for John Cena being there, he's never there either, but if it wasn't for John Cena being there... SmackDown would be unwatchable. It looks like it might be going back to that because John Cena is about to leave, or he is gone already. And SmackDown is unwatchable. It's gonna be sad to see. Uh, yeah, it's about to be sad, man. And now that the uh the writer strike is over, yeah, John Cena's gone. He's gone, and that's sad. But uh, I'm uh this year 2023 has just been a bad year for Roman Reigns. He has been. Never there. None of the pay per views. Seth Rollins had the main event, most of them. And let's just go to Roman Reigns' 2023. I just got lost for a second for the, uh, just think about 20 John Cena in 2023 and stuff. So let's go through Roman Reigns' this year so far. So, for the best part of Roman Reigns' this year was the bloodline early on with Sami Zayn there. That was good times. Sami Zayn turning on Roman Reigns and the bloodline, like, breaking up with Sami Zayn. That was a sad moment, fun, hype moment. It was hype seeing Sami Zayn turn against the bloodline. Epic moment. And then you got the him and Sami Zayn match in Montreal. That was the best moment of the year. Then you got the Cody Rhodes match. Him versus Cody Rhodes. What's a good match? What's a good match? And at the time, I wanted Roman Reigns to win. I was like, okay, this reign needs to continue. Cody Rhodes hasn't earned it yet. And... People wanted Cody Rhodes to win, but I was with Roman Reigns. And I thought, I was like, okay, this is going to be predictable. Cody Rhodes is going to beat Roman Reigns, and that's the end of it. And then you hear the one, two, three, and then Roman Reigns. You hear his theme song. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, he's the greatest of all time. He th he was so popular. It's like, you can't put it on Cody Rhodes yet. He hasn't earned it yet. It was so hype seeing Roman Reigns win that, right? It's like, okay, he about to have matches with AJ Styles, Randy Orton, The Rock. He's about to continue his run. And then, uh, he ain't showing up at first. I'm like, what is going on? He ain't showing up, man. And then you got okay. He keep, he's he's coming back and forth. Like he then he does it. He comes sometimes with SmackDown. He not he's not showing up right. Then he has the tag team match with Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. I'm like, this could just should have just been a, a one on one match with somebody. Like AJ Styles is a perfect person. Just have him face AJ Styles. Easy month match. Like for somebody to watch. I just want to see a match. But he does the match with Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. I think he loses. Then you do the uh him versus the Usos at I think uh Money in the Bank or something. And he loses that one too in a tag team match. And the bloodline storyline is still good at the moment. I was still like, okay, this is good. This is good. I mess with this. And then you had like the peak of it. It got peak again. It got pretty good. And then him and Jay Uso started feuding. And then this made Jay Uso a star. Jay Uso is one of the best ones right now. He's he's just great. I love Jay Uso. And him and Roman Reigns had a match at SummerSlam. And it was a bad match. And it might not, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't a bad match because I was just tired. Those wrestling shows are long. And by the time it gets to Roman Reigns match, I'm just ready to go to sleep. I'm not going to even lie. And then the WWE, WWE Network version of the Dead Day Network is so bad. I mean, the Peacock version of the Dead Day Network is so bad. It's like if you don't watch the show at the beginning and to the end, if you miss like 20 minutes of it, you're going to miss it. They're going to turn it off and you got to wait like two hours for the show to be reposted again. So I miss like the ending of that match. I miss the ending of this LA night match that just came out too. Cause uh, I fell asleep for like 30 minutes because I was tired and I can't, they don't allow you to take a break or something. I just hate how it works on Peacock, but the Jay Uso match was boring. And this is when I was just done with the bloodline storyline when Jimmy Uso turned on his brother. I was like, that makes no sense. Like literally, 
two months before, the whole point was Jimmy Uso was trying to uh get away from Roman Reigns. He didn't like Roman Reigns. And now you're telling me he is helping Roman Reigns or whatever. And then he's telling like Jay Uso, I'm I'm I don't want you to turn into Roman Reigns or something. And then he's joining back with Roman Reigns. I'm like, oh, I'm so done with this storyline. Roman Reigns doesn't even bring it up that Jay Uso turned on him instead. It's like they forgot it ever happened. And I was just like, man, I'm done with this storyline. Everybody's saying, like, the storyline sucks now. Everybody still feel the same way. The storyline sucks. And now, like, Solo, Sokoa, and Jimmy Uso, people don't like them as much as they did before. At first, it was like, oh, this is perfect. Everybody felt like they was in their place. Everybody felt good. And then they just ruined it with that Jimmy Uso turn. I feel like they was progressing the storyline. Jimmy Uso in the, ain't in the bloodline anymore. And then Solo was going to turn on Roman Reigns. And then... Then Roman Reigns will lose the belts and stuff, but they went back. They went, they rewinded it and put Jimmy Uso back in there. And Solo Sokoa is now okay too. So the bloodline is back. Jay Uso at least is gone. I think he needs to get away from SmackDown because the storyline was getting bad. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm happy they took him away from the storyline. Um, um, then Roman Reigns, he has the match with LA Knight. He takes like he takes like a two month break after SummerSlam, and he comes back for Crown Jewel, I think. And he has a few with LA Knight. The few was cool. I like the build up, and then the match was, like I said about the J match, boring, and I was sleepy. And the match ends the same way it always does. The bloodline comes in, messes up stuff, and. LA Knight lost. He lost. And it looks like Roman Reigns is about to be gone for a, another the rest of the year. Like he's about to be gone the rest of the year. And it's just making me be like, what's the point? What's the point? Like maybe Cody Rose should have just won the match. I didn't want Cody Rose to win, but now I'm like, Cody Rose should just won, man. Cody Rose is the guy now. Like I mess with Cody Rose. He's my boy now. I get hype every time he comes out. He's a star. Every time he gets out, the, he comes out, the crowd gets excited. It's always fun. Him and Jimmy, Jay Uso on the, the little post-conference thing. That Jack was funny. He should have been a tag team champion. It's way longer. And now I'm at the point, like, Roman Reigns is not the face of WWE anymore. If he keeps doing this, I talked about this in my part-timers video. They're, they're replacing him. He don't, he don't realize it now. They're replacing him. Eventually... If he ain't showing up, like I said, part-timers don't exist in WWE. If you don't show up, you're not going to be popular anymore. They're going to move on from you, and you're going to get old and sloppy. Cody Rhodes, they're setting up Cody Rhodes. Uh, CM Punk could be coming back. Jay Uso. All of these people, it's like, it's like, man, these people are the future. If he keeps doing this, especially Cody Rhodes, that's a, I think that's already like a man. He might already pass Roman Reigns, for real. He just don't have championships yet. But once he has that, Roman Reigns is not the guy anymore. He's not the guy. So... I don't know what he's planning on doing, but this 2023 was terrible. He had like five matches all year at pay-per-views and stuff. He barely showed up. He only showed up where the stadiums was. He showed up SummerSlam, the Saudi Arabia show, both shows. And he didn't even he didn't even uh, defend his title at one of them. WrestleMania, Elimination Chamber, Royal Rumble. He was at those, and that's basically it. Maybe Money in the Bank. That was it. And it's like, man, where are you? He's never at SmackDown. It's so many. How many times are we going to keep seeing that uh, Roman Reigns returns SmackDown next week or this week or whatever? I'm just tired of seeing that, too. He got to show up, man. He has to show up a little bit more. This is getting bad. And John Cena's not there no more. So they're going to figure out a way to sell the show. I think they're setting up Roman Reigns versus uh, AJ Styles. Not this year. I think it's 2024. I think they send it up for Royal Rumble because AJ Styles has been out for a little bit. I don't know if it's a real injury, but I think they just send it up for him to come back. Uh, I guess kayfabe or whatever. It's not real. And then you could do him with Randy Orton, and then you do him versus Cody Rhodes or something at uh WrestleMania. So yeah, man, Randy Roman Reigns just hasn't had a good twenty twenty three. Tell me how y'all feel about it. Do y'all like Roman Reigns at the moment, or do y'all not like Roman Reigns at the moment? Are y'all tired of this run and uh, I'll see you in the next video, man. I'm ready to see what happens, man. I need Cody Rhodes to just take those belts away, man. He does not need to be champion no more. So peace out, y'all. Anime boom out, peace.